Hello and welcome to the Natural Language Institute. My name is Mason and I'm a teacher here. And here are our grammar tidbits, but this one's a little bit special. It's a Brazilian edition and it's meant to help you Brazilians improve your English because these are specific problems that are tailored to you to improve the language. Hope you enjoy. So what we'll be discussing today is false cognates. And a false cognate is basically a word that is the same or very similar to another word in a different language. So they could be exactly the same with the same spelling, but they could have completely different meanings. Let's talk about it. So our first example is college. Now college or colegio in Portuguese means high school. But in English, it actually means faculdade, where you go after high school. Our next word is parents, and our parents are our mother and our father. But parentes in Portuguese means relatives, and relatives can be aunts, uncles, cousins, you name it. But parents are your mother and your father. Okay, well, let's talk about actually. So the false cognate of actually in Portuguese would be atualmente, which means currently, right now. But actually, in English, it's navidade. Actually, I'm not hungry because I already ate lunch. That would be a good example of actually. Another very confusing word would be fabric. So fabrica in Portuguese means factory. But in English, fabric is actually this. This is cotton. It's a form of fabric. Silk can be fabric. Cotton can be fabric. Bandex could be fabric, there's many different mist materials, but factory is what we use to call a building that creates things, makes things, and works on things. So hopefully this video helps clarify some things. We talked about false cognates today, and we learned that even though two words may look the same, sound the same, and be spelled the same, they could have completely different meanings in different languages. Go ahead and share this video with your friends that are learning English right now. And hopefully this helps. We'll see you next time at the Natural Language Institute.